Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to digitize a little cloud design from some purchased clip art. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, I have to modify the um, the clip art that I purchased um, because this was saved as a PNG file. And if I go and just save this as a JPEG, it's going to say, it, you know, well, let's just go ahead and do it. It's going to lose the transparency. And you say, OK. So we will um, open up. That's the PNG. Well, we can we can work with it as a JPEG the way it is. OK, so um, you, you do have to um, change the PNG files over into JPEG because when you go into studio and I'll show you this real quick um, if you import an image and say I import this as a PNG file when I import this all the background is going to be black and that's I mean, you can work with that if you want to. Me, personally, I don't like it. I like to work with a JPEG image. So I'm going to import um, the JPEG that I just saved. And it's going to make it fit my hoop. So the first thing I'll do is go ahead and start my fill stitch. And we're going to be doing these little curly cues, so we're just going to do the entire outline for the um, cloud. I need to stitch a, or go along here, try to get as close as you can to the outline. I can't draw, that's why I purchased all of this clip art. trying to get those where the little curly cues are about in the center and take this up here close it off I'm going to make the changes that I make to my field designs um, generate my stitches we're going to change the color um, this time I'm going to use a marathon polyester um, and I'm going to do parchment, pastel parchment. It's kind of an off-white color, like a fluffy little cloud. Okay, so we have that done. Um, now I'm going to go back in here and we're going to fill in um, what would be the little swirly lines. And, but to do that, um, we're going to be following the outline from the other. and. Um, basically, I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to be following the outline of, of this um, little swirly, and I'm just going to kind of follow it around. And where it comes up to the point on the outside of the design, I'm going to try to, my best to make them uh, land right on top of it so that um, we make sure that everything is caught in there when we do the satin stitches. So, Okay, so we've come up to where the next little swirl is. We're going to do this as a satin stitch and we're going to say it as 2 millimeter. We can make it larger, we can make it smaller, but for this purpose we're going to do 2. And then from here, we're just going to do a straight. Try to get that as close as you can on your uh, ending point. And we're going to follow this on around. 
and we're going to generate our stitches. This is just a simple run stitch. And then you're going to do a um, create backwards path just for that straight stitch. We're going to edit it. We're going to make it satin and go ahead and do our um, generate stitches. But then we're going to edit this again and we're going to carry this on around to the next. That way you are definitely running off of the last one and it's automatically going to match up. Um, and you're not going to have that end stitch. So here we are here. Generate our stitches. There's that edge. Again, we'll get as close as we can to that ending point. Follow on around. Generate stitches. We're going to do uh, the control B, which is create a backward path. You can do it with the transform uh, create backwards path, but a control B will do the same thing. Um, next, we're going to um, edit this to continue on from that point. Follow it all the way around to the next little area where the next little swirl is. We're going to make the satin stitches, generate our stitches. Then we're going to get on this end point, come down here, fill this in, try to smooth it up a little bit. Control B for the create backward path. We'll go ahead and edit this one and bring this on over to this endpoint. Make it satin stitches. Generate our stitches. Now we will take all of um, the outline, the little uh, satin stitches, we're going to group them together. Um, temporarily, we're going to make it the same color as the background, which is the pastel parchment. And then we're just going to take the, the swirly part and make it a different color. But we're going to keep it in the same, let's do like snow white. That way, when you look at it in 3D, there is a little bit of a difference. So, I am going to delete my image, go ahead and change my hoop to be a 4x4 again. Since I've got um, some satin stitches on here, it's actually a little bit over uh, 4x4. So, we are going to transform this um, 3.98 inches in width. That'll make it... Um, it. Generate your stitches. And bring to center. And now the entire design is uh, 3.8 inches. Let me make sure my hoop is the correct. Nope. And there, you can see, is a cloud that we digitized from Purchase Clip Art. Thanks very much. Hope you learned a little something today. And we will see you later. Bye.